Hi everyone, today I want to make a video to show you how to draw a bolt uh, with the thread as well. Um, so I went onto the internet and downloaded or just copied any of the images I saw there and pasted it directly into AutoCAD just to get a so I don't have to switch between windows so I can just reference from the drawing itself. So to start with, I'm going to draw the head of the bolt. So as you can see, the diameter of the bolt is 14.38. So to start with, I'm going to draw a circle, the C, enter, click the center point, type D for diameter, and set the diameter to 14.38. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to polygon, and select a polygon, enter six side, select the center, Keep it as inscribed in a circle. And so there you have the size of the bolt head. So the next step is to draw the circle that's on top of the head. Now this is going to be used just to get a, like a reference point for the chamfer you're going to use on the 3D piece. So to start with, I'm going to copy the circle to the side. CO, enter. Copy it off to the side, and I'm going to use the press pull command, and I'm going to make it the height of this bolt head, which is 5.3 millimeters. Enter. Right click to exit the command. So the next step is to go into your solid editing tab. So go to solid, click on fillet edge, and go down on the drop down menu and choose the chamfer edge. I'm going to set the distance. The first distance you're going to set is from the top to the bottom. So if I want the distance from here downwards, I wanted to keep it 0 0.6 as it is already. And the distance from here to the center of the circle is going to be 1.3. I'm going to keep it the same. And you select the edge. And you right click to accept the chamfer. And right click again to exit the command. So from here on, I can copy this back with CO enter, copy this back to the circle on this side. So to see what's going on inside of your 3D object, you go you have to change the view to 2D wireframe. So from here on, I'll select the object, I go to slice. And I start slicing off the edges. So I just follow on the template I drew on the bottom and just slice off all the sides. And the last one. So now I'm going to delete the template there and I'm going to move this bolt head over with a base point on that circle. So to see what we've drawn, I'm going to switch back to realistic and you can see there is a very good looking bolt head. A bolt head. I'm going to delete all these excess pieces. Now the second step is to draw the shaft. So as you can see, the first one is 30, 48 millimeters long and the diameter of the shaft is M8. So that means it's 8 millimeters. So to start off, I'm going to draw a circle, keeping it in the same reference point. And I'm going to D to enter the diameter and hit 8 for a M8 bolt. I'm going to use the press pull again and make it 48 millimeters high. Then I'm going to move it over. I'm going to move the, the head of the bolt to the top of the shaft. And before I join all of these pieces, I'm just going to move it over. So here comes the fun part is to draw the thread of this bolt. So to start with, I'm going to draw, I'm going to use that same diameter. But I'm going to just 
pre use press pull again to make it 22 millimeters high. So as you can see, it is 22 millimeters high. So the next step is to move this off to the side, but I'm going to copy it over because I want to keep that circle as a reference point. Let's just delete that one. So you can go into draw, helix, and you select the center of that circle. So that's the width of the bottom, and now you have to specify the width of the top as well. And I'm going to make the height 30 millimeters, so I know it covers the whole threaded piece of that bolt. So as you can see, it only makes three rotations. So to edit that, I'm going to select it, type in PR, enter. It went into pan, PR, or properties, enter. And you select the helix. And the turns, you can edit to make it 30 as well, because I want my intervals to be one millimeter apart. So the next step is to draw whatever I want to use to cut the thread out. So in my case, I'm going to use a square. And I'm going to make it... I'm going to make sure that the inside diameter or the dimension from this corner to this corner should be one millimeter. So I've drawn it that way. So just to make sure it is correct, I'm going to measure this. And as you can see, it's one millimeter. So the next step is to rotate this into place. You don't have to, but I prefer to use it to do it like this so I can see what is going to be uh, swept along the helix. And then I'm going to use a fillet command. And just hit enter a, a radius that I want to use. I'm just going to make the radius 0 0.2. That's not a big radius. And do that for both sides. So the next step is to use the sweep command to sweep this around the whole helix. So we're going to make a mold to cut out the thread of our bolt. So you go into where it says extrude and you select sweep and you select the object you want to sweep and then you select the path you want to sweep. In this case, it's going to be the helix that we drew. Uh, this is quite a big command, so it takes a second or two for the command to execute. So let's just give it a second. So as you can see, the helix has formed what we're going to use as a mold. So as you can see, I've made my intervals one millimeter apart. So that's why the diameter or the measurement from the one corner to the other corner of the block should have been one millimeter. So it leaves no spaces in between. So next, what we want to do is want to, we want to chamfer the edge of this bolt where the third is going to be. So let's go to solid again. Hit chamfer, distance 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. You select the edge. Hit to accept the chamfer. Hit again. Hit enter again to accept the command. Now we're going to move this over to the other circle. That's why we kept the circle as a reference point. 
So now it's inside of the mold that we've just created. So the next step is to use subtract. So subtract works, you select the object you want to keep. In my case, it's that internal um, cylinder that we have. And we want to remove the helix that we've just, just drawn. So what should be left behind is a threaded rod, as you can see. So for the next step, we're going to move everything into place. And just select those two, move it over with the reference of that circle. Then we're going to move it up 22 millimeters because that's the height of the threaded piece. And as you can see there, you have a bolt with thread and also the shaft and the head as well. So next we want to draw the nut for this bolt. And we're going to use this head and just copy it. I'm going to use this circle again as a reference point. And just move it over to the other circle. And we're going to rotate it with 3D rotate. So to get the other side of the bolt showing like the, the first side that we drew of the bolt, it's going to be quite easy. We're just going to move the, we're just going to use a command called mirror. And I'm going to mirror it over with the circle as my base point. Just move this up a bit so you can move this over as much as you want because this is how you get the thickness of the bolt I'm just going to move it so it looks okay I'm going to just click in a random place and then I'm going to join these two So then I'm going to rotate again. And then move it back to the reference. It's always important to keep reference points for your drawings because it gets quite um, confusing when you're in a 3D environment in a 2D screen. So it's not always easy to see where every object is located. So I'm just going to move this up just so it covers the thread. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to copy this. We're going to copy the thread. C O enter. Use that as a Sorry, it goes into circle sometimes. So C, O, enter. I'm going to use that as a reference point and copy it right back where it was. And then we're going to use subtract. And we want this to stay and this to be removed. So what you are left with is a bolt that has thread in the inside as well. Thread that fits perfectly onto the thread that you've just created. So that's an easy way to draw a 3D bolt and nut from any image you get off the internet. Um, you can use the dimensions that you get from the pictures on the internet and you don't have to keep an extra tab open or extra screen. You can just paste it directly into your AutoCAD drawing. I hope this helped you. Thank you so much.